Hey guys, this is my uh, co-worker, Cynthia. Uh, hey guys, this is my friend, Darren. This is my boss, Dane. This is my best friend, Hayden. Uh, this is my uh, academic advisor, Jake. <laughs> Roommate, James. This is uh, my fr friend, Tim. Um, quality. Everyone should get a fair shake on things. That means if people need a little more assistance because they've been given a less fair shake, then I think that they should deserve that. Yeah. Um, other morals. I think that age, race, or gender don't play into um, an equation regarding whether or not you should be in a certain place. Okay. Um, everything, again, I guess it goes really back to equality. That was yeah. like the main morality that I live by. Yeah, fair enough. I try to do the most good where I am. If I can make my own little corner of the world better, then that means I've done my job. Is that why you're like a yeah, academic advisor? Yeah, partially led to that. Yeah, if I can if I can change the world, but if I can help someone someday get better, oh, that's yeah. good enough. Yeah. Uh, I think it's a complicated question. I think purpose for me is to be successful and be happy and also purpose as it relates to other people to make the people around me happy as well. I don't really think I have a specific purpose. I kind of just live every day one step at a time and I don't really think about the long term that much. Okay. Feel, I think is what you're getting at, a lot younger than I actually am. Um, case in point, I hang out with a lot of people that are five to 10 years younger than me and seem to get along with them just okay as I do with people my age. Um, and I think some of that has to do with my work, Fair working enough. with people that are younger, but also just my attitude in life. Fair enough. So if you had a number? Probably 23. Like, yeah. 23. You look like a 23 year old too, yeah. so. Just more of a receiving hairline like than a 23 year old <laughs> I don't know, I always get that I either like act my age or like a little bit older. So I'm 19, so I'd probably say like between 19 and like I think the oldest I've gotten is like 24. To just keep going. Things get rough and you want to stop and you want everything to end, but there's always a learning in something. Like when I think about all the hard classes I took in high school, all the things that are surpassed through high school, all the drama, that guy you liked, that everybody else liked as well. I mean, all of that teaches you something, not only about yourself, but how you re to relate to other people and how you can be a better person in this world. And so with that, um, things get tough and things get rough, but there's always something to learn out of these situations right now that you may not understand in the moment, but once you look back, you're like, wow, that was something that really impacted me in a way that now I do this instead of that. Don't get so hung up on stuff. Anything else? Uh, yeah. <laughs> enjoy life, enjoy your childhood. Last year. Last year? Freshman year, college, last year. Did you learn on your own? Did your parents teach you? On my own. I just, my mom wanted to teach me when I was younger, but I didn't want to. I said, I'll learn when I have to, which was last year. Okay. No. Oh, that's a hard Maybe when I was 10, yeah. I'd say like, yeah, fourth grade. Were you in, in the United, United States yet? Yes, I was in the United States. So, okay, in Kenya, we don't have any like washing machines. Or at the time I moved here, we didn't have any washing machines. Mm -hmm. So washing was like, you hand scrub. Wow. And because it's like cold water yeah. and soap and everything, uh, my parents didn't really allow us to do that because we like, get sick and everything if you don't do it properly because okay. you are playing with not playing with washing with cold water um, but here yeah I learned how to use the machine in like fourth grade nice yeah. probably more on the sad side why do you say that I think um, my family has a family difficulties when I was growing up and that kind of influenced a lot of how I view the world and how I how I perceive everything I'd say uh, kind of half and half of like happy and sad so why is that I think my younger childhood was pretty, pretty happy, but as soon as like I hit that teenage years, I kind of like, got pretty sad. One time, 
during my third grade Christmas concert, this kid, okay, that's not the embarrassing part. <laughs> I, I was required to be in the Christmas concert. That's not the embarrassing part. Um, this kid behind me, Nick Nussberger was his name. Ho the guy. Hopefully he doesn't uh, ever see this video. Got nervous, he was standing behind me and he threw up on me. Yeah. But I was young and nervous and I didn't want to run out in the middle of the program. So I stayed and sang there for like 45 minutes with his uh, stomach contents in my shirt. Yeah. And that's the worst thing that's ever happened to me. That is uh, honestly disgusting. Well, I decided that it'd be really smart to take the family van out for an excursion over to my girlfriend's house when I was 15 years old. I just had my permit and I didn't obviously have a, a parent in the car with me and ended up siling up in a, against a tree and smashing the side of a mirror. Oh, jeez. And having to call my mom, um, letting her know what had happened. That was pretty embarrassing. And also, quite a grounding I got from that. Oh, you honestly hate to see that. <laughs> <laughs> Probably, he is my oldest brother's best friend. His name's Travis. Um, he's taught me a bunch of life lessons, like not to worry about money. It's never a waste of money if you're having a good time with your friends, like going to eat or something like that. And he's just taught me like how to have fun and how to live in the moment. Nice. Probably my dad. I would guess that's that's kind of a stereotypical answer. That's fine. But I would I would say my dad. Why do you, Why do you think that? Just because I mean he was. You know he has a a, a good work ethic. You know, he, he was always at work, which is sometimes like considered a bad thing, but he still, he would still come home. And I'd say I learned a lot from him. Like, I think a lot of the reasons why I did well in school when I was younger was because, you know, he had already taught me stuff. He okay. was proactive about making sure that I'd be good, good dude. Nice.